Hello everyone, so I have this tripod, I don't even know where it's from. I think it's from like Amazon, but my mom got it, so. I think that my neighbors are watching me. There's an extra attachment here, so you can just attach it to your phone, like that. So it doesn't really stay, so I, I brought something heavy for it to lean on. My hair is curly or wavy today, and I'm in front of this backdrop. The flowers are all kind of gone because it rained a lot, but. Oh my god, it's falling down. <laughs> I'm just gonna get kind of in the plants. Hopefully, you check behind you for any um, bugs. And then I'll set it on timer for three seconds. Hi, everyone. So, I'm gonna teach you how to take some mirror selfies. So, first off, we have to start off with a nice clean background because. It's really, I don't know, that doesn't really match with my theme. <laughs> okay, you can see the mess, but that's that's all my studying stuff, don't mind that. But my mirror is pretty angled. This helps to give the look that you're more taller. Also, this is my third time filming this. <laughs> I hope it doesn't turn out bad. What I do to make myself look longer, I guess, is I put one foot or one leg in front of the other, and I get on my tippy toes like that. It helps to give that look. Or like the hand behind the, on the hip type of thing. Or the waist, not hip. <laughs> on my mirror, it doesn't touch the ground. So it, mine is kind of a different case. But if you were to have a full length mirror, you would point your toes like that. Or your, your feet or whatever. Or your shoes. So for this next part, I'm just going to show you how I take my selfies. I don't know, I'm not wearing much makeup today, so it really depends on like the day. <laughs> oh. There we go. So now I'm just gonna show you how I edit them. I have quite a few apps, but I don't even use most of them. The main apps I use are Visco or VSCO um, or something like that. Um, and then Beauty Plus. Usually I like to stick with Beauty Plus because the filters I like already pre-made. This is from the other day. First, I like to do the filter. This is NA3. I like the NA line. I don't know what it stands for, but these are my favorites. I'm going to go with NA3. There's a huge difference. Personally, I don't like too much vibrant colors, I guess, in my um, in my feed. So I like to tone it down. It's fun to look at. Okay. I like to smooth my skin. It helps to get rid of the darkness. That's all I do. So I'm gonna choose this photo. Let's edit this one. First I'm gonna go to filters. My theme is more warm, so I'm gonna try to find a more warmer filter. I think I like this one the best. So in Visco, I don't usually use the presets just because it doesn't really fit my theme or I just don't personally like using them. So I'm gonna manually edit, go to exposure, and turn that up a bit. Just 2, or 2.1. Tone, I take the highlights and shadows, just like a little bit. Then split tone, I go to the highlights and I choose cream. I'm gonna edit the selfie on BD Plus. Oh, what's this? Photo editor. This one, let's edit this one. Go to filters again. I would do NA2, then I'll tone it. Oh, then I'll tone it down a bit. I'll use NA5. Go to smooth. I'm not gonna do auto because that was kind of funny. My acne. Hello. Just do that. Doesn't really do much, but whatever. It's okay. <laughs> and then yeah, sometimes I use blush or makeup, but not for this one. This is really like apply. Going on. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Please stay safe during quarantine, and yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. Love you.